She wed Viscount Castlery Charles Vane Tempest Stewart on November 28, 1899. The two of them were 21. She married into a well-known political and landowner family. Her husband served in the military during World War I and is best known for his time as Secretary of State for Air in the 1930s, during which he protected the Royal Air Force from budget cuts and praised Nazi Germany. Stunning 1930s emerald and diamond bracelet. Circular cut and baguette diamonds are used to frame an oval cabochon emerald in the center of a geometric surround. The piece is 180 mm long, detachable into three components, and it has French essay marks for platinum and gold, as well as a partial maker's mark. She presided over the lavish eve of Parliament receptions held at Londonderry House in Park Lane before it was sold and demolished shortly after her death at the age of 80 in 1959. She wore the magnificent Londonderry jewels, the majority of which still belong to the family and are now on loan to the jewellery collection of the Victoria and Albert Museum. Pictured in 1948 with an emerald bracelet on her wrist and a diamond stomacher covered in grey chinchilla fur. A gift given to the Marchioness of Londonderry by Mrs. James Corrigan. The enormous central emerald in the emerald Corrigan bracelet caught attention because it was thought that Cartier had acquired it straight from an Indian Maharaja. Another present from Tsar Alexander I to the beautiful Anne, Marchioness of Londonderry was a lavish parure of emeralds and diamonds. A well-known turquoise necklace from the Marquis of Londonderry's collection. Silver and gold are used to mount the turquoise and diamonds. The third Marquis of Londonderry's wife, Frances Anne, purchased this exquisitely well-matched collection of stones from Count Ferdinand Parfi in Vienna in 1820. Frances Anne the daughter of Sir Henry Vane Tempest. She has been denoted as autocratic, lavish, nonetheless, with the passing of her husband, she rose to prominence as a successful entrepreneur. In Vienna in 1821, Tsar Alexander I of Russia sent these Siberian amethysts to Francis Anne, the third Marquess of Londonderry's bride. He presented her with 14 of these exquisitely rare and perfect Tsar amethysts in an attempt to change her mind. The best Russian amethysts are found in Siberian mines that were once under the Tsar's ownership. The red and blue highlights seen in the deep purple body color of the stones are thought to make them the finest in the world. Even though the Tsar showered Lady Londonderry with expensive stones and other adornments. She could exit their relationship guilt-free, the amethysts were put on Francis and sleeves as sleeve clasps first, and subsequently, they were made into a chain that she occasionally wore as a tiara but most frequently wore across her dress like an order's ribbon. Three brooches can be made from the ornament. It was constructed in 1853 by Gerards for Francis Anne, the third Marquess of Londonderry's widow. The estimated cost of production was £175. The largest diamond in the 230 carat total weight of the diamond stomacher, mounted in silver and gold, was 15 carats.
Teresa Marchioness of Londonderry's Tiara has undergone many changes since it was first created. Each individual part used to be set with a pearl, but these have been replaced by diamonds, and the gallery of pear-shaped pearls that once adorned it has also been taken out. Gerard created the Diamond Perot in 1854. Francis Ern, the third Marquess of Londonderry's wife, ordered a set of jewellery in 1821 that included a necklace, earrings, and many brooches made of diamond and pearl. The sixth Marquess of Londonderry's wife, Theresa, attended the Devonshire House Ball costumed as Austria's Empress Maria Theresa, a clear allusion to her own significant influence on the nation's political landscape. The bodice was further embellished on each side with ropes of pearls and a spectacular diamond stomacher. She wore a pear-shaped pearl necklace, a diamond riviere above it, and the renowned Londonderry tiara, which had been modified by the inclusion of a dazzling cross, as her crown. A rare original pink Russian topaz with an unusually brilliant color that came from the Russian Tsar's vault. Francis Anne, Marchioness of Londonderry, received this Russian pink topaz from Tsar Alexander I in 1821. At the coronation of William IV in 1830, Lady Londonderry wore the stone as a piece of a set of graduated pink topazes on the front of her robes. The crown jewellers Gerard later had it remounted with diamonds as a pendant, probably to commemorate the succession of the 7th Marquess of Londonderry on February 8, 1915. A pink topaz jewellery that belonged to the family also survived. 